and a pleasant good Tuesday morning. It's June the 14th. It's partly cloudy. It's in the low to mid 60s right now. It was 77 degrees yesterday. It should be about 78, 79 today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be in the lower 80s. Same for Thursday. But then Father's Day weekend, it's going to be back in the 70s, which is going to be nice out here. But in the valleys, it's going to heat up again, though. Yeah, I think it was in the upper 70s to near 80 in the valley yesterday, which was really nice. A break from the heat's very important. And we had a little bit of humidity yesterday, and some places have actually had a trace of rainfall. Um, well, yesterday, the Golden State Warriors take a three games to two lead over the Boston Celtics in game five of the NBA Finals. And yes, game six will be Thursday. We will see if the Warriors will take care of business and win their championship or Boston will force a game seven. But yeah, well, happy birthdays to former NBA player Bruce Bowen. Also to actress Yasmin Bleeth. Also a happy birthday to the late Don Newcomb, who would have been 96 today. Also a happy birthday to former president and businessman Donald Trump and also to Angels broadcaster Terry Smith also a happy birthday to former first baseman Greg Brock who played for the Dodgers and also um, and a happy birthday to the late Junior Walker as well and to Boy George. Um, well, the Dodgers are back in action today against the Angels as they start a mini two-game freeway series. And it's about bragging rights, too. Yeah, bragging rights. Yep. Yeah, because the Angels and Dodgers, you know, the fan base... Yeah, we always like to say, every year I hope and pray that the World Series is always like a preview of the World Series, but the Angels have, haven't been playing really good baseball the past several years. And they haven't been to the World Series in 20 years. And in their 62 year history, that was their only World Series appearance and their only championship. Meanwhile, the Dodgers, since moving to LA, have six championships. Yeah, so they've been more successful, too, and they have a better history than the Angels. Of course, the Angels were founded in 1961. And, of course, when the Angels first moved out here, they played at the old Wrigley Field in South L.A., which wasn't too far from the Coliseum, where the Dodgers played. But then in 1962, Dodger Stadium was built, and, and the Angels had to share Dodger Stadium and the Angels call it Chavez Ravine. And yeah, so the Angels would share Dodger Stadium for three more years. And then finally in 1966, the Angels moved down the freeway to Anaheim. And then they became the California Angels for 30 years. And then in 97, they became the Anaheim Angels. Yeah, and now they're the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And there were rumors that they were gonna move to Long Beach. But Dodger Stadium will always be our home. And, um, and let's just hope that the Dodgers get a win today because we got Tony Gonzalez pitching up against Noah Syndergaard. And yeah, the freeway series is always fun. And sometimes we have incidents, too, between the Angels and the Dodgers. Mike Sosha, for example, was what played his entire career as a catcher with the Dodgers. And then he managed the Angels for 19 years. And yes, he is a three-time World Series champion as well. Two with the Dodgers as a player and one as a manager with the Angels. 
Well, all right. Well, have a good rest of your Taco Tuesday. I'll talk to you all later. Amen.